Hey guys, welcome to DIY Land Arc. I've been drawing design sketches for years, but still feel the anxiety of starting a drawing from scratch. Sometimes I even need to recall the best way to draw certain elements. So I have created this cheat sheet as a reference for myself and for you guys. You can find the PDF linked in the description box below. Hopefully, these resources will help alleviate the pressure of creating a drawing and make the sketching process more enjoyable. Today's video, I will discuss the key process and principles of architectural drawings. I will also guide you on how to draw elements such as people, furniture, planting, paving, etc. in plan, elevation, and perspective. Let's get started. In most cases, designers' graphic shortcomings are more related to the process and technique of drawing rather than talent. Creating attractive and pleasing sketches to illustrate and present your ideas doesn't have to be as daunting as it often seems. Framework, texture, shadow, and contrast are the major steps. Also key principles of creating an attractive architectural drawing in my understanding. Framework hard edges to delineate the basic forms with appropriate proportion. Texture, define materials, shape contouring, and the design details. Shadow, add light and define the depths to avoid being flat and lifeless. Contrast, boost the difference between light and dark to create focus point. Now let's start with the basics of making your line work clean and powerful. Slow down and push a little bit harder at the beginning and the end. Don't be afraid to break out at line connections. It helps emphasize the edges and make your drawings look more vivid. Always try to bring light into your drawings by distinguishing the white, gray, and dark sides. Remember, the front part of the shadow is usually the darkest portion. Then, let's draw some people, furniture, and cars in the plant wheel. The simple and easy way to draw standing and walking people with two circles, maybe add two U's to represent legs for sitting people. Some quick and easy loungers, chairs, bistro, and sofa sets that you can add to your design to fulfill the space. The car seems complicated, but you can see it as a series of rectangles. Next, let's draw some planting and paving materials in the plan wheel. If you have watched my other videos, three easy ways to draw trees with Procreate, you might already be familiar with this technique. Generally, planting materials such as trees, shrubs, and grasses are represented by variety strokes, such as dots, short lines, triangles, squares, circles, U, V, W, and M. For instance, you can quickly represent a group of leaves by drawing a series of U's and V's. Fine textured grass, like muley and Mexican feather grass, can be illustrated with a series of lines. To depict large shrubs and ornamental trees, start with a couple of circles at the center to represent the trunk, branches, and stems, and then draw the crown using other circles or a series of small strokes for more detail. Tropical plants may require a slightly different approach, but you can still begin with the circle and then draw a couple of major fan or Pennant leaves in more angle strokes like V, W, M. Regular shaded trees like oak and elm can be illustrated with a series of detailed strokes. Remember to add more strokes on the shaded side and incorporate shadows to give volume and make your trees stand out more. Tips to make your drawings look better. Contrast, very important. Use variations of volume, texture, and color to bring your drawing to life and avoid it looking rigid and boring. Shadow Adding shadows can greatly enhance your drawings. Take the time to adjust the length of the shadow based on the height of the objects to make your drawings more visually appealing. Now you might be wondering, how should I draw the different planting and paving materials to provide the contrast? 
following are some examples for a reference. Moving into elevation and perspective. First, let's talk about simple ways to draw people. Usually, we draw adults like nine head model figures. In architectural drawings, the head, body, and leg should follow the ratio of 1 to 4 to 5. Bowling is an example section showing all the elements together, including cars, cabanas, loungers, picnic tables, grail, tent, string lines. Drawing shrubs and trees for elevation and perspective could be easier than it looks like. Always start with easy and simple shapes and strokes. To avoid making your trees and shrubs flat, remember to add more strokes and shadows on the dark side. Tropical plants with fan and pinnate leaves like palm and coconut could follow the same logic. Just use more sharp strokes to illustrate their character. Stones are also elements we use a lot in architectural drawings. Trying to see those stones as rectangular solids and adding more details as you are drawing. Gravels could be illustrated as spheres and circles of different sizes. Reflections in the water could be drawn as continuous horizontal lines. Alright, that's basically it for the incline basics. Again, the link to this drawing is embedded in the description box below. Feel free to download and reference it for your future work. Please share this video with your friends, classmates, and colleagues who might be interested. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.